If you search the most popular browsers on the internet, you'll see Google Chrome at the top of all lists. And not only is it in the first place, but it's a huge difference between Chrome and the others. In most lists, Chrome has around 60% market share, while the second place, Safari, has approximately 19%. That's a huge difference. So, we could say that this browser is pretty popular, right? Why would anyone switch from Chrome to anything else? So why did I give up on Chrome? Easy, it's a resource hog. It consumes way too many resources for a browser. While I have a powerful laptop that can handle it, I'm not too fond of the fact that it drains my battery quickly. But anyway, the reason why I went from Chrome to Edge is not entirely Chrome's fault. Even though it's a resource hog, I'm very used to it and I like it a lot because I've been using it for years. But the reason why I switched is because the Edge features are really awesome. Let me explain. The main feature that attracted me to the Edge browser was the Copilot. To keep it short, Copilot in Edge is an AI feature like ChatGPT. I believe everyone is familiar with ChatGPT and understands the purpose of such a tool. Copilot is really good and it's also free. Another feature that I enjoy is the vertical sidebar for tabs. I like having the tabs vertically because you can easily see them and swap between them. And of course, another reason is that it's less resource intensive than Google Chrome, which is a big plus. Lastly, it runs on Chromium, like Google Chrome, which makes it very easy to import your Chrome data into Edge, making it a smooth transition. With that being said, these are the main reasons that made me switch to Edge. However, there are more features and I've heard about really great ones like inbuilt ad blocker, the ability to split screen in the same tab, another AI app that allows you to create images and designs from prompts, and other features. I've been using Edge only for a few days, so I didn't have the time and chance to explore all the features. However, I'm really looking forward to exploring all these awesome features. And now you might be curious if I'll stick with Edge going further. Can say yes, can say no. It depends how things unfold and how the other browsers react. I don't get attached to tools and I use the ones that help me the most and that make my life easier. The next browser to try on my list is Brave. I've heard really good things about it and I'm really curious. Until then, I'm looking forward to explore what Edge has to offer. What do you think? Will you try Microsoft Edge? Let me know in the comments and also if you already tried it, you can reply with what you think about it.